Cheech let me borrow one of his sodas. So taste this thing. Oh, how do you drink this stuff? That is not mine. Ooh. Bitter. Don't put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. We're headed up the river looking for a place to get in and maybe catch a few fish. The river is not crazy high, but it's come up quite a bit in the last few weeks, and there have been lots of uh, customers that have mentioned they think the river's a little too high to fish. And while we wouldn't advocate fishing when it's dangerous flows, it's at a very fishable flow. So we're gonna sneak out and see if we can find a few of these elusive fish. Yeah, I'm just along for the ride. So I'm here to learn, because I suck. We all suck and we're all learning, but. We're gonna learn together. <laughs> no, this should be fun. We should throw some uh, kind of unique flies, maybe heavier flies, uh, maybe a little bit brighter colored flies. We'll see. We'll let the fish tell us. So, sounds good. Here we go. Let's find a spot. I started wading out a little bit and just kind of casting in towards shore. And then on the end of one of my casts, my cast had swung down almost directly behind me and I got eaten on a little thread Frenchie. So I backed into the calmer water and started casting into kind of the more riffly water and hooked up a really nice brown on a new fly called the parity worm. Basically, Best of both worlds, a pair to go on and the worm. Squirming material is a real deal. I've caught a few fish on it so far. And even though this isn't a super long fish, something like that in this fast water really gives you a tussle. Woo! It's cold water. I'm not coming all the way over there. What? I'm not coming all the way over there. This is 5X Tippet. <laughs> what a nerd. I just turn away, he takes another cast. You, is that a fish? What a mega nerd! This ought to be good. Still not going over there. We'll just do the play-by-play -play right here. Looks like Lance is into fish. He is pulling on the line, the fish. Lance is now reaching for his net. Now, the fish is closer. He is captured. Lance says hi, shakes his hand. Looks at his face. 
removes the fly, which is probably a thread Frenchie. We will find out. Now Lance is having to share the river with a rafting crew. Oh, they're headed right for him. Surprise. No, they're not. Now he's going to throw the fish at them. Oh no, he's letting it go. It's gone. Are you seeing everything he's spitting up? Every one of them is spitting up worms. <laughs> See all these worms in the net? That might be why those squirmy wormies are working. Yeah. So if you look in the net here, you'll see there's worms all over in the net. These fish are gorging themselves right now on worms. Nice brown. See it, Mr. Brown? The water's up. It's not crazy high, but it's pretty high water. The highest we've seen so far this year. And the fish, believe it or not, are just coming from out here or right on the edges. So the soft banks are where you want to focus. But if you look upstream a little bit, there's a big rock. It's submerged, but it's slowing the flow just a little bit. And I'm catching some fish. Even though it's well downstream, we're catching fish maybe two rod lengths, two and a half rod lengths out in the water that's just a tiny bit slower than either side. And then if you're not fishing worms in high water, you don't, under, you don't understand what fish feed on. And if you're not willing to fish a worm, then you really don't understand what trout feed on. You're not imitating a night crawl, you're imitating annelids or aquatic worms. So if you won't fish a San Juan worm or a squirmy worm, you probably shouldn't fish scuds or sow bugs or anything like that either. Because if you're limiting yourself only to hatching insects, then okay, we can work with that. You don't make sense to me, but that's your choice. Right now, worms are on the menu, and we're gonna fish them. All right, what's this bomb you're tying on? Uh, I've got a little flashy peritagone with a silver bead. And by little, I mean size 16, but it's got a uh, four mil bead on it. <laughs> Boom, roasted. We gotta get down. Gotta get to the bottom. Small and dense. And fish on. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta get down. As he was saying, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I almost pushed stop recording. I'm like, ah, it's not gonna get one on the first cast. <laughs> Well, it's a good thing we didn't. There you go. There he goes. That. So notice what's in his mouth. And then also notice what the last one that was flipping around flipped up onto my jacket. Ew, gross. Lance is fishing with bait. Yep. Well... When the worms are working, it's because the fish are eating them. And they are working. Yes, that little brownie. Getting all gorged up on worms. So we came up to the river for a quick jaunt. It's pretty high, again, not crazy high, but there's no reason to be afraid of high water. You just got to know what to fish, what to look for, watch for slower water, fish edges. There are a few bloomings hatching. I caught a couple of fish on small little imitated flies, like I got a couple on a thread Frenchie, uh, a little sow bug imitation. But by and large, worms were the ticket. Get something big, down deep, move it slow, let the fish do the work. Yeah, I got them on worms too. I was fishing just downstream from Lance and uh, I was fishing almost the same pattern he had. Uh, one thing that we both noticed though is a squirmy wormy tends to hang up in the water column so our other flies that we tied on tended to be pretty heavy and so those got the worms down pretty well right in front of the fish. 
For me, if I got my fly down deep enough in the in the current and there's a little bit of wind, the fish would tend to pick it up. So, awesome day. Also, I crossed the river. Um, I'm usually not a very aggressive wader and I just stuck some new cleats on these boots. What are they, the Orvis? What are they called again? Posi grip. The Posi grip. Best studs I've ever used. I will shamelessly plug those because they were freaking awesome today. Anyway, it was a it was a fun time out here fishing in what people would call non-ideal water with heathen bugs that you shouldn't fish. Except you should. Right. <laughs>